Now, there are two reasons I chose you to be my scientific observer. The reason number one is you look like you didn't walk into all the fear. And reason number two is you look far more responsible than these two right here. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, none of you look very responsible. <laughs> little test for you, though. How many fingers might I hold? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's, it's good one. <laughs> It's fine. Okay, so which of these two right now is tall? Translate? Uh, yeah, he is. So, imagine there was an invisible line in the top of his head, extending out of the top of her head. And tell me when my level reaches that. Right? top of his head. Yeah, it's good? You two, please switch places. So there should be a two-inch difference right now. Come on over. <laughs> and now tell me. Okay, so there's an eight-inch level. So you can see wow. it's about 10 inches there. But remember that and there's two inches higher than that there. Even if you take those two inches into consideration though, that's still eight inches left unaccounted for. See you, sir, congratulations. You grew four inches. <laughs> you miss, I'm sorry, okay? But you just shrank four inches. But don't worry, because if you drink your milk, and eat your vegetables, you'll soon grow up to be tall. <laughs> Thank you for that tip. Thank you very much. Really right. appreciate that. <laughs> Good job, Gab. So as you can see, there's a lot more than two inches occurring here, right? Now as part of the tour, when people are wondering, what could be causing this? What is the mystery? So go ahead and raise your hand if you would like to know the mystery. Yeah, as you can see, I raised my hand. The reason I raised my hand is I would like to know the mystery. If I knew the mystery, it wouldn't be called the mystery spot. It would be called the solved spot. <laughs> now, the solved spot doesn't sound very fun, right? I mean, if you would come to a solved spot, I'd be out of a job. We well, do have some theories, though, here at the mystery spot. Theory number one states that above our heads is a hole in the ozone layer, right up there.